In modern popular culture, whenever gladiators, the famous enslaved arena fighters of ancient Rome, come up, they are often accompanied by the equally famous salute. Hail Emperor, we who are about to die salute you. It is well associated with the entire image of the gladiator, decked out in mismatched armor, fighting to the death against fellow gladiators or wild beasts brought to the Colosseum for the entertainment of spectators. But, actually, this famous salute is probably a myth. It was probably never said, and if it was, it may have had a very specific purpose behind it, and it certainly would not have been said by gladiators. So then, where does this supposed hailing of the emperor by gladiators condemned to die actually come from? Well, we have three sources on this. A passage in the histories of Tacitus, a passage in the Twelve Caesars of Suetonius, and a passage in the Roman history of Cassius Dio, all of which describe the same event, but of the three, Tacitus is the closest in time and does not utilize the salute. The event in question isn't actually a gladiatorial game. Instead, all three sources are describing a nomachia, a staged naval battle, during which criminals would serve as sailors and marines and fight to the death. During the Flavian dynasty, these were held in the Flavian Amphitheater, otherwise known as the Colosseum. But because Claudius was part of the Julio-Claudian dynasty and thus the Colosseum had not been built yet, he conducted it on a lake in order to celebrate the completion of a construction project, a tunnel designed to drain said lake. And before that was done, Claudius wanted something spectacular to commemorate the achievement. Tacitus tells us that the Romans placed barges on the lake with praetorians on them, supported by a wooden wall surrounding the lake upon which were mounted catapults, in order to ensure that the criminals, apparently numbering close to 19,000, although that's been called into question, could not escape. Cassius Dio does not mention the barges, but he does mention the wall, and Suetonius does not appear to mention either. This event was held in the year 52, and the major problem with the sources is that they were all written well after this naval battle. Tacitus is probably the most reliable because he was the closest to it, writing approximately five decades after the mock battle around the year 100. Our first mention of the famed salute comes from Suetonius, who wrote the Twelve Caesars in 121, and who often incorporated humor, gossip, hearsay, and rumor into the text, which has caused historians to be extremely cautious with employing it. He tells us that the criminals cried out to Claudius, Hail Emperor, we who are about to die salute you, to which Claudius apparently replied, or not. Claudius was well known for being fairly witty, and he was also known for clemency, so apparently these criminals took this as a sign that they had been pardoned, and they did not fight each other. Claudius, though, apparently did not mean this, and eventually he forced them to kill each other. Our last source, Cassius Dio, writing in the late 2nd century, mentions this salute as well, and a similar outcome. The problem, however, is that this famous salute, if it was indeed said, was uttered by condemned criminals, not gladiators. It does not appear to show up in any other sources, and certainly not in anything connection with gladiatorial combat. It really appears to have just been a one-time thing, so then how does it come to be so well known in the modern world when we think of Rome and the Colosseum? Well, the answer to that question appears to be a case where this one line was cited in a handful of academic works in the 18th and 19th centuries, and gradually it just spread and made its way into popular culture. Not necessarily as something that did not occur, but more along the lines of a misattribution, which, at the end of the day, when it comes to gladiators, is all this appears to be.